Hey, this is Mark Swashin, MTC Media here in Charlottesville for UVA against Holy Cross. We're going to talk about things to watch for Virginia. First of all, let's talk a little bit about Holy Cross. Go Holy Cross it, is go. coached by Dave Paulson. Wow, for really those who know in the Commonwealth of Virginia about Dave Paulson, at one time Dave Paulson was the head coach of uh, George Mason University, where he has two guys that he recruited to the school that's playing in the NBA right now. Tyler Kolick, who plays for the Knicks, who um, originally started at George Mason, and Jordan Miller, who plays for the Los Angeles Clippers. He also originally started at George Mason. They came when Dave Paulson was the head coach of George Mason. Then there was an administrative change, and Paulson was let go. Kim English was uh, brought back, and Paulson goes to Holy Cross after having spent time in the Patriot League with, as the head coach of Bucknell. So a lot of a lot of uh, uh, tread on those tires for Dave Paulson, and um, a game like this is not going to be too big for him in the sense of remember last year. Paulson brought Holy Cross to Washington, D.C., and they beat a Georgetown team. So if you're a UVA fan, though, you understand that this this or this or program is in a lot better position than what Georgetown was last year or what Georgetown is now. But Dave Paulson has certainly done a lot of winning um, throughout his career, and though on paper this game uh, should not have too much sweating in those last 20 minutes, it is certainly worth, if you're a Holy Cross fan or a Patriot League fan, um, capturing some of the things that Dave uh, likes to do. Now, what I'm looking for from UVA today, if you're watching this game and you're wondering, besides the score, what should I be looking for? First thing for Virginia, I'm looking for spacing on offense, whether it's in Zoom action, whether it's in screen and roll, whichever they're running. Um, to get space. The one thing that this team can do when they're schemed into space is they can get downhill. Now, they might not have a lot of guys who are going to square up on you and get downhill, but with movement and ball reversal, getting downhill to the front of the rim is good game-winning plays that will make difference in games that are have better opponents. Second thing I'm looking for when I watch this game is the three-point shooting. Brody and McNeely definitely can open up a lot of things, especially with the movement and the actions of getting early good looks at threes. If they go down, this is a completely different offense. This is a 70 plus point offense when those guys hit those shots early because again, it expands out the floor. Last but not least, how many touches does Blake Buchanan get? Again, Touches and shots aren't the same thing, but if you throw it inside and you have Buchanan touch the ball, if he starts to, to finish, starts to be in a factor inside, it opens up things for everyone. So you can't look at how many shot attempts he has as much as how many touches he has. Does he get those touches early in the shot clock? Do the touches come later in the shot clock? Are they all from missed shots? All those things count. I think early touches for Buchanan, uh, touches for Buchanan that are early in the shot clock that makes the defense have to make decisions on what they're going to do. Or do they want to double? Are they going to kind of stun inside? What are they going to do? And then what he does with the ball? Is he a good decision maker? Does he hold the ball and whether the double comes or not? Does he still shoot it? Does he pass it out? There are all kinds of things, but it opens up the world for a team like Virginia, who doesn't have a lot of dynamic athletes on the wing. Virginia's not built like Alabama or Auburn. They're built like Virginia. So those are the things to look for. Again, 4 o'clock tip here in Charlottesville, Virginia, and Holy Cross. Marcus Washington from MCC Media.